Well, it's first and foremost, I just want to congratulate Ireland on, on a series win here. Um, you know, it was a, we knew it was a big series when they came. Um, we, we've watched them the last eight, 18 months. They're a quality rugby team and they're a, a big test for us. And, and at the end of the day, we, f we fell a bit short to a, to a quality team. So, um, look, we, we tried hard. We, we wanted to start well. Again, we made a couple of defensive errors early that got put us under a lot of pressure. Um, came back really strong and, but, you know, we just, they wrestled a little bit of momentum at key points in that second half that really, um, that really stopped us really having a good crack at it. So, you know, that's a, and that's a mark of a confident team that knows their game at the moment and, and clearly we've got a little bit of work to do. Look, oh, I, I just want to talk about this test match. Yeah, we didn't get off to the, the best of starts. Um, they're a hard team to get mo like some consistent momentum against. We experienced it a little bit in the first test. Um, we managed to get things going. Started off this, the second half fairly well, but um, as Fozzie alluded to, they sort of managed to wrestle it back. Um, and it's hard to get the, the, the game flying. Some of our sort of more like the defensive reads, a couple of softest tries, and um, our inability to feel pressure. I thought we did hold on to the ball. We did start to find um, some space and get guys one on one, but um, credit to Ireland. We got a, we got a heck of a lot of respect for them as a footy team and, and as players in the nation. And, they came down here and really tested us, and we were beaten by a better side tonight. Ian, how do you galvanise this group and, and try and get them out of this, this current hole? What is the way forward for this Black team at the moment? Look, we'll go and do what, you know, we've got to go and analyse that, that series deeply again. You know, we, um, it's, there, there was a series that we had. I guess a number of disruptions to our original plans when we go and went into it, but we were able to, to to build a number of parts of our game like we didn't, um, you know, we probably weren't as bothered by line speed as what we've been before. Um, there's a few things that I think that actually we, we got right, but we, we're just not getting enough big moments right, and and we're certainly not getting the start right. So. Look, we'll, we'll go away, but there's a number of new people who have exposed to what, what I think was a, a very intense series for us, one we haven't had for a while, and it's given a, a, a you know a massive marker for this particular group about where we're at. So, no doubt we have to roll our sleeves up and get a lot of work done. Yeah, I'm not sure that question, Sav, sorry. Even though the team has come back, yep. Well, I, I guess you can look at it that way. You look at they, they squeezed us, you know, when they when 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 we were really had a lot of momentum in that second half, we were we were doing things that we we really wanted to do against them. Whereas in the first half I thought we got a little bit um, we got a little bit too loose at times. Second half, we, we carried a lot more direct. We actually, some of our counter-attack stuff was working well, but there was a couple of times, particularly post-line breaks, where we just couldn't quite get our support on the man quick enough, and those moments hurt. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll dig into that. Well, I guess the first thing, uh, you know, it's first and foremost, I think the New Zealanders probably got to realise that this is a very good Irish team and and give them some credit. And I think it would be um, disrespectful for us just to, um, to not make that the number one item. You know, they've come and achieved something pretty special here and 
and and I think they deserve a bit of a a, a, a bit of time in the sun for that. For us, it's you know we're a group working hard. We're 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 working on solutions. We've got a lot of belief in, in the solution in, in many of the solutions we've got, but we've now got to get better at executing them. And and so we've been given a, a real marker in the sand for where we're at. I think it was a similar question to the last one I got asked. So I'd just rather talk about the test match now. Um, not really, because we talked a lot about it, and we, we and, and there's different things you do at the start that that try things, you know that. Um, but you know we're just for some reason we're just not as calm. I think particularly calm defence. It's more the defence area that we are just we're getting a little bit fidgety early. We let a few holes and 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 Ireland aren't a team that you can allow to get behind you because they. they 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 play an up tempo. That's that is when they play an up tempo game, and so, and we've done that, and and it's um and it's hurt us. So you know we worked on some things, but again we just made a couple of little errors early, and they got that early momentum. Yeah, is it confident you can make the team today? Yeah, it's confident. Yeah, it's Well, he's got a broken cheekbone from a head-on-head -head contact. I think so. I put my finger on it and we just sort it, sort it that quickly but um, we had a lot of confidence going into this weekend because of how hard we'd worked and what we'd been able to put out on the training park um, but out, out there um, just too inconsistent with the, the good moments and the bad moments and not able to go back to back well, when we go back to back good stuff we look flash we, look, we got the job done um, for periods but um, too many times we're, yeah, we're, we're not backing those up um, and look I know for a fact the, the boys are, are trying extremely hard and are hurting a lot right now um, so I think the only good thing that can come out of this is that we use it as fuel to get better if we don't learn if we don't use this whole experience the love the last of this series to learn and be better, then it's just wasted. So um, we just got to pick ourselves up real quickly, um, find solutions, look at positives, and and find a way to go forward from it. Because if we don't, then it's just it's just wasted. <laughs> Oh, it was just felt we needed some some fresh legs, you know, just trying to keep the men in guard. So it wasn't reflective on him or his leadership. It was just the the, you know, we were we we got momentum, then we'd lost it back again. And I just felt we needed to make a couple of tweaks. Broken bones are sort of six to six to eight. Thank you. Thank you.